it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn today. I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial for a doggy sweater. But I wanted to show you a couple of the sweaters I made for her. This was the one of the first few I made for her. Now, these collars I make a, a lot bigger so they kind of lay on top of the chest, just below the neck. And then they go over the front leg. And just under the front leg's armpit, I do a belly band. And then... You can make the belly band as long as you want or as wide as you want. For males, I would make it narrow. For females, you could probably go back a little further. But you will need to measure um, your dog of how long you want it. And you're just going to crochet back and forth, sometimes in the round here in the middle, and then back and forth till you get it as long as you would like. This was the Christmas sweater. This neck hangs down on her a little bit longer. I like I really like this one, but I but she's grown so it's a little short on her, but I mean, it's preference. You may want it a little longer to go to her like right up to her tail. If I do it again, this last one I made long, I'm going to do it a little bit shorter. Um it seems to flop a little bit. I mean, if you wanted to, you could do chains here and put their back leg through it, but I wouldn't do that, but you can. Um, but she loves the sweater. It's keeping her warm. So you're ready to get started. This I'm going to be doing this on, um, I'm in Pigeon Forge in a cabin. The tutorial I'm doing is going to be on a mattress on the bed. Um, of course, you guys know the supplies. You're going to need hooks, darning needle, tape measure. And we may or may not need some of the, well, yeah, we'll probably need a couple of these stitch markers. And if you want to take notes, a pen and pad. All right. The first yarn, I have not used this yet. Um, this is a, a Lion Brand Mandela. It is uh, 344 yards. I, I want to see. It's 100% acrylic. Number four. And it recommended hook is a 4.5. You could go up a whole hook size probably. Um, this one, if you wanted to use Vivid, it's a little bit thicker. It's a thicker number four. The recommended hook was a 5.5. I used a six. Um, well, here, this is the same yarn. The colorway on this is Neon, neon Signs. I want to show you these yarns. See how they on short, on short rows, they're going to, the colors are going to change a little rapidly. Um, in the round, not so much. The, uh, this was the one that I made for Susie. This is the yarn I used when I, the last um, sweater I made for Susie. I'm sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> this color is Dragonfly. Hang on, I'm going to try to see if I can catch her now to get the sweater. I want to show you how it worked up, this type of yarn worked up. So you can decide what kind of yarn you want to use before I go chase her down. The other yarn I tried to use, I tried to give you guys some examples. I love this yarn. This is a discontinued strawberry jam, but they still have a lot of these type yarns at Hobby Lobby. This is what the yarn looks like. This is how it works up for the collar, but it works up beautifully for the body. I don't like it when it breaks up like that, but you know what? I can live with it. Here she is, speak of the little devil. All right, come here, Susie. But see how the vivid... The collar changes colors. Down here, it's purple. Can I take your sweater off? I'm going to take your sweater off. Okay. Thank you. All right. You can get down. I closed the door. How'd you get in here? Okay. Okay. You need to get down or get over there. Stay. So... Here's the tail. I wish I would have probably gone to here. I made it a little too long. But see how the collar changes colors? But the rest of it 
works out beautiful. This stitch I used was on Jennifer's uh, cinnamon stitches, the stitch she used in the utility bag that she made this week for um, premiere week. She made a lot of other things too, but I loved how this worked up. So I, um, I made a bag and so I decided to use it in this dog sweater. She's not want to lay still. Do you want to play? Huh? Do you want to play? I want, let me see. I'm going to show you how this works up on her or how this fits her. This is the one for Christmas. It's got the bigger collar. And I did your normal ribbing. You know, you do like 10 rows of double, I mean, single crochet and then well, you chain 11, and then I did 10 single crochets in the back loop, back and forth, back and forth, till the collar got wide enough. See? See this one? And it's a little bit shorter, but you know what? I probably won't go but this much farther in this next sweater. But I like an extra stitch here. I can show you guys how to do that to make this fall loose across your chest and the band was only I think like five or six but okay all right you're beautiful you can go play go play and then this one I did ribbing at the back end trimmed I do I do trim around the uh, edges I did this one with I guess double crochet it looks like but yeah so she's gonna rest over there and we're gonna get started so once you decide what hook you want to use and what yarn um, you could just use a plain yarn it doesn't matter but I just wanted to show you how the different yarns worked up I want to show you the difference in the two and the sizes the one she has on is a medium, so that's like small, medium, and <laughs> large in a small dog size. So, but you can make this any size. Okay, you're ready to get started. I'm improvising. I'm on the, I'm, we're in a cabin in Pigeon Forge, outside of Pigeon Forge. So, I'm going to do a tutorial for a dog what sweater. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how I want this around her neck. So, I'm going to measure... All right, so what I did was I brought it, let's see if you can see, I brought it around like down by her chest and it's right at, right at 19 inches. Good girl. And let's get the length. How long do I want it? I want it to be 15 inches. So perfect. Okay, I'm ready to get started. Now I gotta find the center of my cake, which these aren't always easy to find. Okay. Okay, before we get started, you're gonna wanna figure out how wide you want your dog's uh, collar to be. And this one's for Susie, okay? And I believe it's three inches. Yes, it's three inches. So what I do is I chain 12. So let's, let's get started. Okay. You want to chain loosely because you want to get in the back bumps, just this first row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Turn your work, and you're going to go into one, two, the second stitch in that back loop, in the back loop of that chain. And make sure you do it loosely. If you can't get in that back bump, you might want to make that chain again a little looser. But you're going to go in the back bump, back bump in every back bump on this road and to the end. 
Yeah, this yarn is kind of splitty. I didn't know that it was splitty yarn. Could be just me. I adjust my camera. Did I yarn over? What did I do? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I was trying to get my camera level and mess myself up a little bit. This gadget's new. Going in the back loop is like my least favorite <laughs> thing to do. Because I'm slow at it. Okay, we're in the last one. Okay, so I don't chain. I just turn my work. Hang on. So turn your work and in that. And in that last chain, you're gonna want, in that first chain, you're gonna wanna go in both of these loops, okay? So, you're gonna do a single crochet, so you're gonna pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. So there's your first single crochet. And the rest of them, you're gonna do a single crochet in the back loop, but the last one. The last one, you're gonna go in both of these legs here at the last. Okay, and I do that on every row in the collar. So the first and the last, I go in both legs. And all the other stitches, I go in the back loop. So here's the back loop, and I'm gonna do a single crochet. And I'm gonna do a single crochet all the way across. Actually, this is pretty good. This is about the position I sit in. I sit up on my recliner, my chase lounge, and crochet. All right, we're at the last stitch. We're going to go in under both loops and do a single crochet. Okay. And then you're going to turn your work, and again, you're going to go in both of those loops. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to repeat this repeat the first row you're going to go in in all the back loops till you just before the end All right, we're at the last stitch and we're gonna go in both loops. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and we're gonna do that until, well, I'm gonna do it till the ribbing is 19 inches long, but you can just keep wrapping it around your dog's neck until you get the size that you're comfortable with. I've showed you how this fits on Susie. If you want it to fit on your dog the same way, just measure at the base of the neck, right on top of the shoulder, I mean the chest, and um, I'll meet you back once I get 19 inches of ribbing. Okay, well here's Susie's collar, and this is what I've got measured for the old collar. So it's pretty close. It's totally different yarn. So I probably could have done a few more chains. I did 12 chains in each rib and then, well, originally 12, but it was 11 throughout. You always lose a stitch once you do your first row. But, um, where's my tape measure? So folded in half, it's 19. So all right, we've got 
it's technically 19 inches, eight, about 18 inches, this collar. Because it's a little stretchy, you know, it's so unstretched, it's like 18. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach it. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna attach it to the other side. So I still have my loop on my hook. I'm going to go in that first stitch where the tail is there. And I'm going to slip stitch, first stitch there. Okay, I slip stitched, okay. But I wanna go back into it again Go into that first, that first stitch right there. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You want to go in that first stitch right there. That second stitch, and you're going to go into the second stitch on the back side, and you're going to pull up a loop. So, and I'm going to go in every stitch across to connect this collar together you I'm doing a single crochet you can slip stitch whatever works for you because it's going to be on the inside where you can't see it anyways it's going to be with the other seams if there is any other suit it's hard to see through this camera Two more left. And then the last two, last stitch. All right. Okay, once you do, once you connect the two ends together, you, you do the right side out, you chain one, which I've already done, then you, well, chain one, and then you're gonna go in the next stitch and do a single crochet, and you're gonna do a single crochet all the way around the collar. Whoops. You wanna get into all those stitches. I'll meet you back over here. I need to put a stitch marker there, right here. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. So that's where we started. So I'll meet you back here when we get around. Okay, we're almost to the end. We're almost there. And then we'll get to the main pattern, and it's pretty much a breeze from there. The beginning is always, I think, the more difficult. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to that first chain one. Chained one, turned our work. So I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going back in that same stitch, pull up a loop. And I did a double crochet and I'm going to put a stitch marker here. We're going to do a double crochet and every stitch all the way around. So once you finish your, your, um, go ahead and fasten off. We're going to attach the yarn in a different area on this sweater if you notice this is the collar this is my collar 
okay? And right right where the front leg starts, we're going to we're going to move up a little bit, okay? So the chest will be here and we're going to give we're just going to probably move it up. Measure your dog and right where the front leg starts, you're going to want to go up at least two inches okay and then we're going to do the pattern the special pattern that I have and then we'll we'll have to probably stop right here this will be the back it'll be the armpit of the front leg is what it'll be and then we'll have to chain some to get to make this belly band okay so, but anyways, I'll walk you through it. It's hard to explain for me anyways, but I'll share it with you. But yeah, um, I'll uh, try to pop in a picture of Susie wearing the sweater so you can see where this is on her body so you know where to adjust your sweater for your dog because every dog is different. This is this is for Susie. I don't know how to make a, a specific pattern i mean i would call this a small a medium size sm small was a small i would say i'm gonna have to kind of use your dog as your your model to measure where things should go in the proper place but i will definitely pop a picture in here for of miss Susie wearing her sweater so you have an idea of where you want to start to to fasten on for this part of the sweater I'm going to fasten on one, two, three, four, five, five ribbings up. It's actually 10 because each rib is two, but I'm just counting the, the part of the rib that's sticking up. But um, yeah, and you want to make sure that where you attach this together, you want this at the bottom under her chin. Well, at the chest, okay? You don't want it on the top. <laughs> <laughs> that's so you know your single you got your single crochet on this same row so all right but i'll walk you through every bit of it um for those of you that don't know i'm in pigeon forge tennessee it's been kind of rainy and, and cold we wanted to get out and do some stuff today we our plans were but um when i got here yesterday because we went from one cabin to another. Because the first cabin they gave us, the driveway was dangerous. My car was too heavy for that driveway. Or maybe it was that we didn't have the right tires. Because he would stop and the car would start to like slide down the driveway. It was scary. And it was like <laughs> straight up. You could not see the pavement in front of your car. All you could see is the sky. That's how... how um how far of an angle that the nose was up in the air. It was very difficult. I mean, Tim was like, can you see the pavement? Can you see where I'm going? He couldn't see where he's going. And I was like, I don't like this. He goes, I don't either. So they got us another place. We're, we're still in the mountains, but <laughs> we're, it's not so crazy as far as there's no cliffs that Susie could fall off of <laughs> or us. <laughs> But um, I, I think I shared all that with you yesterday in my, in, or late this morning. But now, um, when I entered the new cabin, I walked by the fireplace that's in the center of the, the great room. And not seeing that that hearth was elevated, I kicked it with my left foot. And I don't know if I broke it or if it's jammed but I swore I was not going to the hospital this trip <laughs> come hell or high waters you know um but anyways last night I woke up in the middle of the night and my foot was throbbing and this morning I couldn't walk on it so I've had ice on it and had it I've taken a leave. I only took one a leave. I know I have to be careful because I'm on blood thinners, but I wanted to see if I could get it, the inflammation down. And I'm, I'm kind of able to put pressure on it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Can you believe that? I can. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. You guys know what a double crochet is. But, yeah. So, that's so far. So, tomorrow, we're going to go to two yarn shops. I want to thank everybody for kind of giving me advice of places I can go. Um, so, I'm going to go check out the two local yarn shops here in Pigeon Forge. And, um, and then we're going to do something fun. Um, <laughs> I mean, you got to walk. I can't believe I did this to my foot. It actually, it's better than it was last night. I mean, last night it was throbbing, but today it's better. So I definitely cracked it good. I think even if I broke my toe or jam my toe, there's nothing they can do. I mean, there's really nothing you can do. So today I kept it elevated. I kept packing ice on it. I did take one to leave because it was it was killing me this morning. And and also I wanted to get the inflammation down. So and it's been twelve hours. I, I waited twelve hours before I took my um my medication. But, so I don't have a whole lot to share with you guys. Yeah. At least I didn't, like, I don't think I broke an ankle. It's just my toe, but it's like the, I guess it's the ball of my foot. That's what hurts when I put pressure on the ball of my foot. Now, I could move my foot sideways, kind of cock it crooked. It's fine. I can walk fine. I mean, I'm walking with a limp, but, but yeah, it's, I can't put any pressure on the ball of my foot. I mean, I cracked, I hit that thing hard yesterday and I was like, and then after I hit it, I tripped in here <laughs> in, the, in the one bedroom, I tripped over, but yeah, they have that, they have like this concrete, it's called a hearth, I guess, you know, the bottom of the fireplace and it's slightly elevated and it sticks out and it was sticking out further than I just, I, I wasn't really looking at it. I had suitcases in my hand. So, yeah. And I walked by it thinking, wow, how cool. And bam, I kicked that thing. All right. So now I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to keep the stitch marker. That tells us where our seam is. Okay. And this is the top. So now what I'm going to do is fold it in half. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six. Was it? Let me see. I'm cheating for my dog. I have a model. <laughs> but you can, I'm going to, I'm going to put a stitch marker right there. Where are all my stitch markers? I had four of them. Now I'm down to three. So I'm going to put it right here. And I want to put one directly on the other side of this one. So I know. So I got. I'm sorry. So I've got it folded in half. All right, and I'm gonna put another stitch marker right under this one. So, cause we gotta do this, this on both sides. So you want them to be the same. So hang on. Okay, I'm back, got my stitch markers. I've got my stitch markers placed. So I'm going to crochet on this side and go all the way around to the other side to the stitch marker, turn my work and come back. And that's how we're gonna build the middle. And then once we get to the back of the front arm, the armpit, the back side of the armpit of the front leg, we're gonna stop. And then I will guide you through the rest. We're gonna have to stop there and then we're gonna have to chain enough to go around to make a belly band. And then we'll go back to the normal, this stitch. But we got to extend it for as wide as you want it on the belly. 
And I think I've explained that, you know, the boys, you don't want to make it too wide, but you want to hold this up to your dog to make sure you have things in the right area so we don't cover certain parts that we shouldn't cover. <laughs> so we're going to attach the yarn. Um, let's flip, flip this and we're going to attach the yarn right here. Let me do a slip knot. I already did one. I've already attempted this a couple times. Um, I didn't have my camera on. Imagine that. So let's go ahead and fasten on your yarn. Okay. So you're going to want to do a single crochet and then you're going to want to go in the next three stitches. Okay. So we're going to do a double crochet in the top of this double crochet. The top of this double crochet. And the top of this double crochet. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. I should move you in closer. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip three. One, two, three. And then you're going to double crochet in the fourth one. And you're going to do two more in the next two stitches. So that is, so what you're basically doing is three double crochet, chain three, skip three, three double crochet, chain three, skip three. But I'll, I'll walk you through it. All right, so we just did three double crochets, chain three, skip three, and then you do your first double crochet in the fourth stitch, and then two, do two more. So here we go, chain three, Skip three, one, two, three, double crochet in the fourth one. And do two more double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the fourth one. I don't know. I was doing really good staying in the frame early on. It's not easy doing tutorials because if you make a mistake at some point, you got to delete everything you just did. <laughs> I was almost done with this and I had to frog it so I could show you guys how to do it. Ah, I didn't have my camera on. Okay, so I chained three. Now I'm going to one, two, three, and then a double crochet in the fourth. So we're going to do this all the way around to the next stitch marker. So make sure you put all your stitch markers in. All right, I'm going to show you how to do the second row of this chain three, three double crochets. All right, this, this is straight. So I'm going to turn my work and chain three, one, two, three, yarn over. You're going to yarn over and do double crochet in this bottom row below. And every, see these three double crochets? You're going to do a double crochet in the top of each one. There's three of them. So there's one. two and don't be afraid to spread your stitches apart and there's the third one right there and then chain three 
same same method it's just you're going to be going into the top of the row below of the double crochets so double crochet and make sure I'm in frame I'm struggling to stay in frame as as it gets later one two three and then you skip over those and you want to do double crochets in those and they're kind of stretched out because I frogged them several times. One, two, three. Skip over those. I don't know what I did wrong there. Okay. that's how you do the second row and you just turn your work chain one and then gonna keep doing it until let me show you let me back up a little i'm gonna keep doing it until i breach you guys are gonna have to check on your dog you may want to measure from the front of their from you know right where their chest is to where the back leg is the back of the armpit of the first leg measure that and then that way you can keep an eye on how many rows you need to do by measuring that's what i would do that's how i did it before i got a sweater made and you know your first one may not be perfect nothing's perfect but anyways it'll serve its purpose and keep your puppy warm i'm sure you, you'll do a great job if i can do it you can do it so i'm going to keep going back and forth till i get to here so, but you need to pay attention to that, of how far you need to go. And I did put a picture of Susie in there, and I put it at the very end of this video, so you can look at it again of where, where I put that, put those, how I divided this. Alrighty, so I'll meet you right about here, right at the back of the armpit. And I, I share pictures of how you can figure out how many rows you need to do depending on how wide your dog is so i hope i hope this tutorial is good enough for you guys hey everyone i'm back okay i'm struggling to do this part of the tutorial so bear with me all right so you should have decided how long you want this to reach your dog's the back of her armpit of her front leg this the front leg will go through here okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach yarn to this okay and we're going to make a chain where it goes all the way to the other side so you're going to attach what you need to do is you got to figure out you're going to have to measure your dog's belly so I would put this on the dog, okay, and then run a tape measure from here under the dog, from here, hold on, from here and go under the dog's belly to here, okay, measure how many inches that is, and that's how long of a chain that you're going to create. You're going to, you're going to do a, a a chain and then attach it to this side now you got to make sure that you don't twist it it needs to be straight because what we're going to do is we're going to continue stitches i apologize we're going to continue once we get the chain attached see this was a chain we attached it to here we did a chain to the other side once it's attached then we start going around and around until you get the belly band as wide as you want it. So this is the most difficult part for me to explain. But you want to, you know, you want to make a chain that goes all the way under the belly. So that, that's what's going to hold this on. So, and then we'll go round and round with this stitch. And I will walk you through it. But I want to explain it before we start. Okay. So, go ahead and 
I'm going to go see if I can get the model to come in here and model for me so I can show you how I measure the dog. Look who came in here. She hopped up here. All right. Y'all bear with me here. Come here. All right. Let me bend this back and hold what, it. You need my help? I might. Let me see. Okay. We're going to put, uh, 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 uh. we're going to put what we've made so far, the collar. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay. And this is what I was trying to explain. This is the front of her leg. So I went all the way. I, I went back and forth, back and forth crochet till this point. This is the back of her leg. And I'm going to get a chain and I'm going to chain it all the way till I get to the other side. See, there's there's another piece there, and I'm going to attach the chain on that side. But to figure out how long a chain, I didn't make the sweater probably long enough. I probably should have made it a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's The model hasn't been cooperating. So hang on one second while I put my thing back on my neck. Susie, please don't go anywhere. She's so good. She's such a good girl. I'm so proud of her. All right, we're going to measure. Okay, so I'm taking this tape measure. And I'm going to measure all the way to her chest, to the other side. And you may want to stretch it a little bit because you want it to stretch. So, all right. So I have to make the chain seven inches. Hold on one second. All right. So I'm sorry. I had to clean my camera. Couldn't see the lens. But anyway, so we're going to make a chain seven inches and this is going to look so good. See, see on this side and this side. And you can look at it from the front. But yeah, this is the hardest part to explain to you guys. But you're just going to have to figure out on each side how far down you want this to go. You just put the collar on your dog. And evenly, when you figure out on one side how long you want it, just above the arm, then you fold it in half and mark, and you know, you'll mark it, the collar here, fold it in half, and you'll just mark it on the other side. And then you'll fasten on your yarn and we'll start that stitch to this and then go back and back and back. Now we're at the point where we're going to make, I'm going to make a seven inch chain and I'm going to fasten it onto this other side. So, and then I'll show you how I start the stitch again. She's such a good girl. Thank you for being my model. I love you. <laughs> so, the next thing you need to do is make sure you measure your dog. Once you're done with the belly band and figure out how wide you want the belly band, especially if it's a male or female, okay? If it's a male, you're going to need to keep it a little, not quite so wide so that it doesn't cover his private parts so he can go potty. But then once you, you're done with your belly band, you're going to fasten off. Or well, what we're going to do is, well, you don't have to really fasten off. What we're going to do is when you get to this point, you know, this is going to be attached. When you get to this point, okay, you're going to stop going all the way around, okay? You're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, and, until you get it the length of your dog. Now, Susie, this went all the way to her tail. Now, the next one I'm going to do before her tail. I'm going to give a half an inch before her tail. Um, I just think it fits better. And I might make her belly band a little wider. You know, you can adjust the sweater and each time you make a sweater you get better and better i promise <laughs> but i promised i would get this tutorial out and it's been a long time coming and because certain parts you can tell i struggle to explain and i've attempted this several times and i'm just gonna roll with it and i hope that it's good enough for you guys to understand especially the ones that want to make a dog sweater for their little guy but you're just gonna have to use your dog as a model and measure your dog you know of how many chains you need to do for certain parts like 
the collar. You guys know how to do, most of you know how to do ribbing. Do ribbing until it fits your dog perfect. Then you attach it and then you fold it in half and then you decide on each side of this where it fits right above the leg and then you're going to make it as wide as to the belly right and then we're going to start making so your dogs is going to be different than this but i'm i hope you understand the concept of this but i am going to walk you through it so now we're going to do the belly band and i need to make it seven inches so let me get my hook out hang on i have an example here um i'm going to walk you through it still but i started to make her another sweater trying to figure out how to explain it to you guys <laughs> but um what i did was after i made her chain on this did the collar above the arm the front leg and then i chained and did a belly band and then i started the pattern and this is what it'll start to look like and you're just going to go back and forth back and forth well you're past the belly band you're going to go you're going to stop right here at some point when you get it wide enough but you're going to stop at this location on this side and just go back and forth back and forth back and forth okay until you get it long enough for your dog's tail hind end so that's what that looks like so but um but yeah and i'm making this one too so but I want to, before I go any further with this one, I want to show you how I chain chain it and, and then start the stitch. Did this part. Now we're going to make the belly band. I measured Susie 7 inches, but I'm going to make the chain 6 inches and then attach it to this other side. Now you need to, when you make the chain, don't, don't um, twist it. You need to keep it straight, so three four twenty two i got twenty two chains so we got twenty two chains so you don't want to turn your chain you want it to be straight let me put my hook back in it okay i got my hook back in it so my chain is straight and I'm going to attach it to the other side right here. Whoa. Okay. It's attached. Yay. So just chain one. So the chain is attached, and again, you're going to want to turn your work where you're working on this, because you want to work it out that way. This is the front, this is the back, okay? And you're going to make this as long as, well, first the belly band. I'm going to do the belly band on Susie. I'm going to make her belly band as wide as this one maybe a little wider i'm going to make it five inches so i'm going to go round and around until this is five inches wide this belly band so i'm going to show you what i do working on this chain i'm going to continue the same stitch pattern that we've been doing so the last stitch was chain three so now this time I'm going to chain through one, two, three. I've already chained one. So chain three and hold on one sec. I just want to make sure it's straight. Yeah, it's straight. Chain three and then you're going to double crochet in that same, kind of in that same stitch. Oh, don't make your stitches too tight like I did. You won't be able to get on them. So there's one double crochet. Two double crochet and we're not going to count this one okay 
three double crochet. Hang on, bear with me here. Okay, and now we're going to, oh, I went, no, I didn't. I didn't go the wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way. I'm going to chain three. I had to think. One, two, three. And then chain, skip three. One, two, three. And we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. This is kind of slow. I'm kind of slow at this. And you're going to do it in the next two stitches. And I'm going in both legs on this chain. Trying to, anyways. Now it's going to make a liar out of me. So we got... Oh, did you see that? I went in the same chain. Oops. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Chain three. Skip three. This is my least favorite part of this whole thing. So one, two, three, and then double crochet in the fourth chain. And don't do it too tight like I did, because you won't be able to see your stitches as well. <laughs> okay, there's one. Oh, come on. Two. And then... Three. Chain three. Skip three. One, two, three. And double crochet. And that next one. Now, my count might not be perfect, but we're going to fudge it when we get to the other side if it's not perfect. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> All right, so we got two more double crochets to do. One, or no, two, and then three. Three. I think it worked out perfect for me. But, I mean, if you if you have a couple extra stitches, just chain and then connect to, you're going to connect to your work. So... All right, so we're going to continue this way. See how the chain is? See how I ended there? See, so this is how it's going to be. So the next stitch is going to be, let's see what it's going to be. Since, since it's this, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. So we can fudge it a little bit. So we're going to yarn over and... Let's look for those. So there's one, two double crochets, three double crochets. Okay, now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip one, two, three. And you're going to do double crochet in this next. See these three double crochets below? You're going to go in the, the stitch above it. So yarn over and pull up a loop. It's just like the stitch you've been doing the whole time on the sweater. Usually by now you have the hang of it. One, two, three. It's really hard to figure out how to explain certain stuff. I guess each time you do it, you get better. But So y'all bear with me. Give me a little bit of grace. <laughs> One, two, three. 
<laughs> you can throw popcorn at the screen. <laughs> One, two, three. You just keep doing the same stitch that we've been doing this whole time. One, two, three. Skip three and then double crochet. Wait a minute. Did I miss this? No, there it is. Sometimes I struggle to see this color yarn. One, two, three. You're going to skip over those three stitches, or three chains, and do double crochet. In. The worst part is over. <laughs> the only other part I have to show you is when you decide how wide you want to make that belly, keep trying it on your little fur baby, and once you get it wide enough, okay, you're gonna go, you're gonna crochet up to the side. I'll show you, hang on, I'm almost done. One, two, three. So I'm gonna double crochet, double crochet, and I'm gonna fudge this. Wait, no, wait, I put it in the wrong hole, hold on. Double crochet. Double crochet. All right, I am going to slip stitch right there. So we've got them together. Now this should be... I'm going to go ahead and chain one turn my work and then chain three one two three and then we're going to do double crochet you got to pull that stitch over double crochet three times and then chain three you're going to skip those three and then three double crochets again and you remember, you're going to go in the top of those double crochets, the row below. Don't scream at me that I'm just telling you that now. <laughs> I'm not starting over again. Oh, goodness. I have a lot of admiration for all the tutorial queens out there. You guys rock. The ones that can do it. Angela over at My Precious Yarnery being she's been kicking butt with all the tutorials. And she's reading patterns and she's dyslexic, so that's a major accomplishment for her. I'm proud of you, Angela. I'm going to go to this other end and show you in turn and then I'm going to let you go till you make your belly band as wide as you want and then while you're doing that I'm going to be doing this and editing. I've got it this edited up to now so hopefully it's a home run after this. I hope. All right, see, we're getting to the chain. Hold on. All right, and this is where I chain three. So, okay. So, we're going to chain three, skip one, two, three. 
and then double crochet in the next double crochets. The next three double crochets. I'm sorry. I know my words sometimes are screwed up and I apologize for that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. So, okay, this is the one that's kind of hinky. This first row is going to be a little tough. This next, the first two rows are a little tough. Okay, because you got to go back in the single crochet or the chain below. You're going to do three double crochets. One. Hold on one second. Yeah, because I didn't, my count wasn't right. So, you're just going to have to fudge it. I'm going to, how am I going to fudge this? Eh, I'm going to do three double crochets. That's how I'm going to fudge it. I did it. Okay. So there's going to be six in a row. Sorry. One, three. Skip those three stitches and then you're going to double crochet in the next three chains below. One. Two, three. All right. And you're going to chain three, skip three, and then we only got, this, this is the last row of those dreaded chains. The first couple rows of every project I know is always the least favorite. All right, chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch over here to that. Okay. Chain one, turn your work. And then you're going to do three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. Get in there, Nance. And three double crochets. So I want to share with you. So see what we've got gotten done so far. The belly band. Okay, let me give you an example. Here's Susie's other sweater. Okay, and this is the new sweater. It's a little smaller. But see, there's the belly band, and I'm going to keep going around and around. And then once I reach the width of this belly band, I'm going to stop, like, in the same stitch that I started, okay? I'm gonna stop and then I'm just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, turn your work back and forth. You won't have to go round and round and you just make it as long as you want. So I will meet you back here, at the back, the end of the belly band, okay? Okay. We're almost done, y'all. I'm getting excited. Okay, the belly band is done. It is, it should be three inches. Yep, it's a little more than three inches. It's three and a half inches. Can y'all see that? 
So now we're going to complete this sweater. I'm going to show you where these stitch markers are. They 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 kind of they kind of match up with this this thing here. So and I put one on the other side. So what I'm going to do the last row see right here this last row here I'm going to show you. Well. I'm going to close these holes, okay? When I get to here, okay? So how I do that and um this is how you're going to do it on the last row. Okay, so we got The reason I'm closing this cuz this is the last this is the last row. Oh, let me back up a little bit. This is the last row for the belly band. So I need to close these holes. So how you do that is Make sure you mark where your your band ends, okay? Once you, once you complete it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do single crochet, single crochet. I'm gonna single crochet in the um, double crochets. Hold on one second. I can't do that to that one. Hold on. All right. So what I gotta do is chain three, one, two, three, because that's where my stitch marker was, and I gotta, I gotta um, fasten off. Is what I gotta do. All right. And the reason being is because I gotta. I got to start right here. I got to start here. And I can't do that um, closing the stitch. I want to close the stitch right here. So, all right. Bear with me here, guys. We are going to finish this baby tonight. Where are my scissors? Okay. <sighs> All right. I know that seems kind of silly, but it was off a stitch, but I, I want it even, so. I'm going to go, see where my stitch marker is? I'm gonna start here in the double crochet, okay? What I'm doing is I'm closing, I'm gonna close all these stitches just in the belly band. Okay, but I'm casting on just right, right behind the stitch marker because it's a, I want, it's an entire stitch. This is a cluster. So, okay, so, so you're going to single crochet in the top of that double crochet, and then you're going to uh, single crochet in the top of the second double crochet. And you're going to single crochet in the top of that third double crochet, okay? And I'm going to put my stitch marker right there. <coughs> Get it out of my way. All right, and now I'm going to double crochet in each of the top of these double crochets. So yarn over, double crochet. What I'm doing is I'm closing these gaps. There's not gonna be any more chain three. It's gonna be three single crochets, okay? 
So we close that gap. So now we're going to do three single crochets in the next, whoops. Um, see the, th the three double crochets? So you're going to skip over that one. So one, two, three. Okay, the, now we're here. We're going to close this gap. You got one, two, three. So we're going to do a double crochet in the first double crochet. And there's this. Hold on. I missed something. Double crochet in that stitch. You want to get both stitches there. And then we're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. And then yarn over and we're going to double crochet in the last double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three double crochets. And we're going to do this all the way to the next stitch marker on the other side of the belly band. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. One. Did I not cut this yarn? Hold on. It just seems like it won't go away. I forgot to cut it. Oh, I cut the wrong one. <laughs> That's okay. I can fix that with no problem. I can't believe I just cut the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. It isn't funny, but it is. Okay. This is what I wanted to cut. Because <laughs> it was in my way. Alright. So we're going to do single crochet. Is there three of them? Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, and now we're going to double crochet. Double crochet. <sighs> double crochet. Now we're going to single crochet. We're coming up to the stitch marker. Okay, one double crochet. Two double crochet. Three double crochet. All right, so now let's look at our work. I'm going to do three more stitches here. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. All right, I'm going to mark that. So now what we're going to do, we are not going to go on this side. We are not going to crochet anymore on this side. Okay, these stitches are done. The only time I'm going to crochet on this, I'm going to probably do single crochet around all the stitches when I'm finished. Okay, so now we continue growing the back of this. That's like this part. We're going to grow it out. So you might want to try this on your dog and see how many inches you need to go. Um, let me see. I have a cheat. So, yeah, I've got a good ways. But this is basically the pattern. And I'm done! Kind of. 
what you need to do, and it's, you know, you can do it or not do it. You can do a single crochet around all this, you know, around all the stitches if you want to clean up the edges. But I'm going to end the tutorial before that's done because I want to get it out. But you can do single, you know, do single crochet with your yarn around all the edges. But yeah, so, but this is pretty much the end. Okay. I want to get on that side. So we don't want, wait, what side? Yeah. Let me get on the right side. So, yep. Yeah. So that's it. Um, we're going to grow the rest of this for as long as your dog, dog is. And then at the last row, you're going to close those gaps with how I closed this here, how I just showed you. You're going to single crochet in the, um, the double crochets, and you're going to double crochet in the stitch below. So I'll show you. I'm going to have to show you because, yeah, I can't put an incomplete tutorial out. I've gotten it this far, right? All right. So keep going. You're going to want to keep going back and forth on each side. Go this way, this way. Keep turning your work until you grow it. And I'll meet you once I get mine long enough and show you how I close the last the last row of this pattern. I can't believe it. I've gotten this far. All right. I'll see you in a few. Okay. We're almost done, y'all. I'm getting excited. Okay. The belly band is done. It is. It should be three inches. Yep. It's a little more than three inches. Three and a half inches. Can y'all see that? So now we're going to complete this sweater. I'm going to show you where these stitch markers are. They 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 kind of they kind of match up with this this thing here. So and I put one on the other side. So what I'm going to do, the last row, see right here, this last row here, I'm going to show you. Well, I'm going to close these holes, okay, when I get to here, okay? So how I do that, and um, this is how you're going to do it on the last row. Okay, so we got, the reason I'm closing this, because this is the last, this is the last row. Oh, let me back up a little bit. This is the last row for the belly band. So I need to close these holes. So how you do that is, make sure you mark where your, your band ends, okay? Once you, once you complete it. All right. So what I got to do is chain three, one, two, three, because that's where my stitch marker was. And I got to, I got to, um, fasten off is what I got to do. All right. And the reason being is because I got to, I got to start right here. I got to start here and I can't do that um, closing the stitch. I want to close the stitch right here. So, all right. Bear with me here, guys. We are going to finish this baby tonight. Where are my scissors? Okay. <sighs> I 
All right. I know that seems kind of silly, but it was off a stitch. But I, I want it even. So. I'm going to go see where my stitch marker is. I'm going to start here in the double crochet. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm closing. I'm going to close all these stitches just in the belly band. Okay. But I'm casting on just right right behind the stitch marker because it's a I want it's an entire stitch. This is a cluster. So, okay. So So you're going to single crochet in the top of that double crochet and then you're going to uh, single crochet in the top of the second double crochet and you're going to single crochet in the top of that third double crochet okay and I'm going to put my stitch marker right there <coughs> get it out of my way all right, and now I'm going to double crochet in each of the top of these double crochets. So yarn over, double crochet. What I'm doing is I'm closing these gaps. There's not going to be any more chain three. It's going to be three single crochets, okay? So we close that gap. So now we're going to do three single crochets in the next, whoops, um, See the, th the three double crochets? So you're going to skip over that one. So one, two, three. Okay, the, now we're here. We're going to close this gap. You got one, two, three. So we're going to do a double crochet in the first double crochet. And there's this. Hold on. I missed something. Double crochet in that stitch. You want to get both stitches there. And then we're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. And then yarn over and we're going to double crochet in that last double crochet and then we're going to single crochet in the next three double crochets and we're going to do this all the way to the next stitch marker on the other side of the belly band one two three okay here we go one Did I not cut this yarn? Hold on. It just seems like it won't go away. I forgot to cut it. Oh, I cut the wrong one. <laughs> oh, no. That's okay. I can fix that with no problem. I can't believe I just cut the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. It isn't funny, but it is. Okay. This is what I wanted to cut. Because <laughs> it was in my way. All right. So we're going to do single crochet. Is there three of them? Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, and now we're going to double crochet. Double crochet. <sighs> double crochet. Now we're going to single crochet. We're coming up to the stitch marker. Okay, one double crochet, 
to double crochet. Three double crochet. All right, so now let's look at our work. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do three more stitches here. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. All right, I'm gonna mark that. So now what we're gonna do, we are not gonna go on this side. We are not gonna crochet anymore on this side. Okay, these stitches are done. The only time I'm gonna go crochet on this, I'm gonna probably do single crochet around all the stitches when I'm finished. Okay, so now we continue growing the back of this. That's like this part. We're gonna grow it out, so. You might want to try this on your dog and see how many inches you need to go. Um, let me see. I have a cheat. So, yeah, I've got a good ways. But this is basically the pattern. And I'm done! Kind of. What you need to do, and it's, you know, you can do it or not do it. You can do a single crochet around all the, you know, around all the stitches if you want to clean up the edges. But I'm going to end the tutorial before that's done because I want to get it out. But you can do single, you know, do single crochet with your yarn around all the edges. But yeah, so, but this is pretty much the end. Okay. I want to get on that side. So we don't want, wait, what side? Yeah, let me get on the right side. So, yep, yeah. so that's it. Um, we're going to grow the rest of this for as long as your dog, dog is. And then at the last row, you're going to close those gaps with how I closed this here, how I just showed you. You're going to single crochet in the... Um, the double crochets and you're gonna double crochet in the stitch below. So I'll show you, I'm gonna have to show you because yeah, I can't put an incomplete tutorial out. I've gotten it this far, right? All right, so keep going. You're gonna wanna keep going back and forth on each side, go this way this way keep turning your work until you grow it and i'll meet you once i get mine long enough and show you how i close the last the last row of this pattern and we're on the last row okay the last row we're going to close these holes like we did over here on the the belly the belly band okay we're going to close these and I'm going to show you real quick. And after I show you how to close these, <laughs> we're going to upload this video. One, two, three, turn your work. Okay. And we're going to close this by double crochet. Okay. You got one, two, three. So you're going to double crochet in the top of that double crochet. And you're going to double crochet in that second double crochet. And it's the row below, basically. Okay. All right. And then the next, we're going to do single crochets in each one of these double crochets. And I apologize for sniffling. I didn't realize how much I was sniffling in that last video. Oh, it must be allergies. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. Single crochet, 
single crochet, single crochet. Here we go, double crochet. Okay, y'all, I keep, I keep doing the um, chain three. I'm supposed to be closing it, not chaining. Okay, so we're going to chain. Single crochet in the top of those double crochets. And we're going to double crochet in the top of the double crochets in the, the row below. And we're going to repeat this across. Single crochet. The next three stitches. And then double crochet in the next three stitches in the row below. Single crochet. Whoops. Single crochet. And the next three stitches. And then double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across this row and then fasten off. Whoops. Sorry. I'm out of frame. Oh, look at me chaining. I've been doing it for three days now. <laughs> I don't know how to stop. Here we are. We're at the end. Hallelujah. <laughs> That is beautiful. All right. So this is done. Before I um, give it to Susie, I'm going to do a whole row of single crochets all the way around the um, entire sweater. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm done. And I apologize that this is so long, but... I got her done. So I appreciate everybody for their support. And I hope you enjoy your puppy sweater pattern a tutorial. I'm going to name it Q, uh, Susie's, Susie Q sweater or Susie sweater. Yeah, that's what I'll name it. So, all right. I'm going to post it in just a minute. There. It's on Susie. Can you stand up? She's pooped. She's been wa she walked Gatlinburg with us the whole that whole strip. But anyways, I got it done. I'm so happy. Let's show the belly band. The belly band looks good. But we could have gone further back. I don't have it on her right because she won't won't get up. So Yep. Come on. Let's let's you want a num num? She's <laughs> Well, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the pattern. I love you all. Mwah.